it is important to personal happiness to choose delight. To choose to be delighted. This is okay. Now, many of us perhaps with our Christian backgrounds or whatever that would teach us that it's not okay to be that happy. <laughs> is that fair? You know, I don't want to be sort of mocking at anybody because I'm just uh, sorry about mockery. I don't want to be doing that. But there are Christian settings in which, you know, you do grow up thinking perhaps, or you do get the impression perhaps it's not okay to be happy. The Bible is saying it is okay to be delighted. In the right things. You choose to be delighted. It's something you do. Blessed is the man who delights. It is not something that creeps up and surprises you. You take delight. It's cognitive. You make something your delight. Here's my illustration. Ready? What did you see? Oh. Oh. <laughs> no, you didn't say a cow. It's not a cow. It's definitely that, a bull. He's a big lad. Is that the one? Dad, is that the royal champion? Aha! Only one. Not black Glenn Cole, that is. What a beast. I mean, look at that. That's that, amazing, isn't that it? That is pretty impressive. That is pretty impressive. He's an absolute delight, he is. But, but not to your average British limousine cattle judge. Can you see why? Most people wouldn't consider giving him the Priscelli trophy, which he won last week at the Royal Welsh. They wouldn't consider it. Most, most limousine cattle judges wouldn't give it. Can you see why? It's black. It's because he's black. <laughs> now, he's full pedigree and black. And under the skin, he is the most amazing bull. I walked past him, he was, he was lying on the, on the deck, and I walked past him. Wow, what is that? That is amazing. I spent, how long were we there, Callum? Ages, just looking at this bull. On the, he's amazing. He is, and he's got some of the breeding that we got in, in one or two of ours. And I, oh, is that, he's an amazing bull. I'm delighted. By that, I stood behind him for ages, just lapping up the pleasure. What an amazing beast God has made him to be! But and I find this very unusual. He wouldn't be everyone's delight. Can you believe that? That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is the point, isn't it? Slap the point. You take. <laughs> That's a good fact. You take delight. And for one man, it'll be his bull. And for another man, it'll be his car. And for another bloke, it'll be his roses or his cabbages. Right? But you take delight. Do it. Enjoy! I, I, I really... I really <laughs> You've got that look of sympathy on your faces for me now, but... I really enjoyed that. What a marvellous exhibit. What an exhibition of the creators and art. And the wisdom he's given to man, the breed of beasts like that. Do you see that double Muslim that's back in? Can you see that? Yeah. That is out of this world. You take delight. And it is really important for the glory of God and the people that we become that when we see something delightful, we take a moment to gaze and give thanks for it. And I don't care if you think I'm bonkers, but that's amazing. And I will stop and give thanks. And it's important for my soul that I get a chance to do that. So could you go look at some roses for a minute or something and let me get on with it? <laughs> it is important to take delight in examples of excellence in the Creator's creation. And to pause, and to ponder, and to praise. But it is crucially important to human happiness to take that delight somewhere that is truthfully delightful. Because there is an immense danger that we delight in that which is false. Focusing on delight on things that actually breed despair is going to leave you where? In despair. <laughs> Focusing your delight like a small child on dirt is going to leave you covered in dirt, possibly eating it. You need to focus what it is you will delight in. It is your choice what you will delight in. Act 
sail across.